Hey, welcome back to the channel. The C3's back on jack stands. It was off of jack stands for like a whole two days while we were out of town. Now it's back on jack stands. But hopefully, for the last time, we're going to address the yellow showing through on the bumperettes. That's what I'm calling them. And we're going to paint the center section of our front spoiler slash splitter here. Um, it's received the most, you know, abuse probably of anything on this car. We've got special tape to mask these off and special paint to paint these with. And then we also went and got, pretty cool, an aerosol can of Indy Silver, the correct paint code for this car for our little splitter section here. So we're going to get this off and start doing some uh, preliminary body work. We get these masked off and touched up with some black paint and then uh, once we go back together c3 is just about done done okay on this splitter uh we've just got a bunch of uh three eighths headed bolts holding it on uh to the sides pieces of the spoiler and also to the uh front framework of the car looks like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten or twelve here twelve twelve total uh, yeah and then oh we've got some little guys down here I didn't see those two little oh that one's gone so we'll have to replace on that with that little quarter inch guy uh, I'm gonna grab a driver and take that out first. Stand by. All right, I'll get you. What? Ah, uh, seven millimeter. Here we go. Yeah, it's out. Now we've got 12 bolts. Right little dirt falling down. No big deal. Real quick, you can see this. Splitter must have gotten pulled down like this once or twice, and it pulled these bolts, started to pull them through the actual plastic. So we noticed that the other day, and we we're in the big city. We got some stainless body washers, so we're gonna shim that behind these bolts when we go back together, and that should get this nice back up and nice and level again when we go back together too. Sorry for the interruption. Here we go. Oh, that one's spinning now. No, it's not. It's all right. I don't think it is. It's just stuck. There. Like that. Now, how do I get it? What do we do now? And then we got this over here. Okay. Hmm. What are we doing? I don't want to do that. Well, the two sides of the spoiler kind of both capture this dude. And 
I don't know that we can get it out without taking one of them off. Oh, I don't want to though. At all. I don't know. I really don't want to at all. Dang it. Okay. I have to take this guy off. Well, do this. Well, can we do this? Oh, it's a different size. Great. Let's try with this size. Yep, that makes that one. And then with that one. Nope, that's a different size. <laughs> Yes, they are. Okay, we're going to take the driver's side, I guess, side piece, spoiler piece off here in order to slide out the center. Well, we got her. In order to get the center section out, it's kind of captured on each end by the side pieces. So we took the driver's side piece off and that's just sitting up there but uh yeah full of dirt and bugs but we got to get rid of these yellow streaks right at the front of the car it just it just bothers me and uh, especially right there on the nose we're gonna take this outside get it all cleaned up and then we'll start sanding down on this a little bit and i'll show you what we got for paint to uh correct the old uh give her a little nose job I guess you'd say okay we've got it pretty well cleaned up uh, we're gonna start with about 220 and we're just gonna get some of this gouging and scratching off the front nose of this thing and take down some of these bug chips rock chips and that kind of stuff um, and then we'll scuff the whole thing uh, we do have some flex cracks back here in the paint that we're gonna have to sand out and that kind of thing as well but Let's start up here in the front. Pretty much going to hand sand all this. Okay, we've got the stress cracking uh, dug out with 200 grit sandpaper um, a lot of the imperfections kind of sanded down there are a few still a little pock marks and stuff like that but you know I don't really want this to look brand new because the rest of the paint on the car is 44 years old so if it's got a couple imperfections in it um, I think that's probably gonna look more realistic so uh, we're going to hit this with 400 now and kind of see where it lands. I was hoping to maybe paint today or at least prime today, but it's sprinkling about 20 feet that way. So 
behind you there and uh, it's pretty humid so we're gonna wait for at least a sunny sunnier less humid day which might be a day or two apparently according to the weather maniacs um, but yeah let's get this ready anyway let's hit it with some 400 and then the the hard you know elbow work is done at that point mostly I think we hope okay we went over it with 400 I think I'm pretty happy with everything. Mind you, everything from here, this edge, that way, back there, all, none of this is even going to show. In fact, you can tell, although it was painted, it was just about overspray. Uh, you, you dig right through the silver pretty quickly on that. Uh, I got to run into town and get some parts for a customer car. I'm going to get some decent wax and grease remover and give it a wipe down with that. Look at it again, maybe over by the bench in a better light. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just wait for a day when it's about 15 degrees warmer, about 90,000% less humidity, and we'll spray this thing. So, to be continued. Fade. Okay, we're back on the splitter. It's been a couple days. We did go ahead and use JB Weld, Plastic Weld, Epoxy, and we hit this nose here where there was a little bit of a crack, and now we're gonna, it was upside down, so that's a little nubbin that was a drip, but we're gonna trim that off, and then we're gonna sand a little bit here, and then hopefully, you know, get some primer on this piece and be all right. We're going to give her a wipe down with wax and grease remover. Make sure we like the looks of everything one more time. And then we're going to go set this guy out in the sun and the wind. For a half hour, 45 minutes. Keep going over the whole thing until we have a pretty darn clean... shop towel at the end. I like that. Barely any dirt, if any, on there at all. Alright, we're going to set this outside and let her dry, and then we'll bring it back in, blow it off again, and probably even hit it with some dry heat to make sure there's no moisture, humidity on it, and uh, we'll glove up and see, see what primer looks like on there. All right, I think the sanding and the cleaning and the re-sanding and the cleaning and the cleaning and the sanding and the cleaning is done. Uh, we brought this in from outside. We are going to hit it with just a little bit of heat, um, just in case any of these pock marks are holding any, any moisture. Let's go over it real quick. This is flexible surface primer. Now 
I'm getting some droplets out of the can, but that'll all sand. here. I don't know what that is. Let's let that flat. Even though this is the same video, it's been a week since we sanded this, but it's ready to roll. Um, what I've done here to prepare is I made a little stand up, made a little bench. Um, I wanted this up off the bench because we got to get up around these edges so there's some cribbing underneath there. But then I wrapped it on plastic so we don't have any dust coming up off of this uh, bench material when we when we start spraying this thing. You know, this took a little bit of a beating over the life of this car. Car's only got 38,000 miles, but if something's going to get rubbed around, you know, we're talking central Nebraska, the heartland here, so. Um, potholes, um, you know, maybe a gravel road or two late at night. And so we had some rubbing and when you rub through the paint and primer, you see that ugly yellow color. So that's what we're doing. We're fixing that up. Um, we didn't try to fill any little chips or anything. Uh, we want it to fit with the rest of the car, even though we're repainting it, uh, right or wrong. That's the finish I'm going for. So it's sanded down to 400 grit. We're gonna give it one more wipe down with wax and grease remover. And then we'll let that sit for probably about 45 minutes to an hour. And then what we're gonna do first is we'll flip this over and we'll get kind of these edges around here that don't show but still need a little bit of coverage. We'll do that first so otherwise I'll probably forget it and then we'll flip her over and we'll do the main body of the uh, piece here sometimes it's the little thing so as I was shooting I was going through in my brain what else do I got to do well how about gloving up Jarrett so as you're holding this piece to wipe it down your dang oils and stuff aren't soaking into this primer. All right, here goes nothing. First impressions, this stuff sprays way better than your average aerosol spray paint. Very cool. I don't know if it's the tip or the pressure or what, but very cool. We'll do two coats around these edges and then we're going to let it dry for an oh, hour or so and then we'll flip it over and do the top side.
that flash out. It's looking pretty good. That's about the whole can. I think we've got pretty good coating on there. I don't see any runs. We're gonna stop and just let her dry now. All right, we let the splitter, spoiler, for the Corvette sit three days after painting it. And here's where we are at. First thing we're gonna do, we blew it off with some compressed air. Now we're just going to take a damp microfiber and just wipe her down here once. Now I'll get the dust off and anything that's kind of halfway sort of stuck in the paint, the big chunks. I don't really see it. There's no bugs or big chunks of grit in this. Give it a little wipe down. Main surfaces we're worried about here is this section. And then a little bit of this will show if you really get under the car. So that's where we kind of focused our efforts when we were spray painting. And then we made sure and we looked underneath and got underneath this front lip a little bit. Next, we're gonna go through just like we did with the car and give this the same treatment. We're gonna start with the six on the uh, grit scale here, Meguiar's dual action. This is a cleaner polish, just really cleans up uh, paint nicely but we're not going to use the the roundabout machine on this we're just going to do this by hand it's a small piece here now we're going to go to Number four, the ultra finishing polish. hanging under here by a couple bolts but let's go side to side here there is passenger side flare underneath the car over here the driver side flare the paint color is so I mean so close you guys they get a little bit of uh, time out in the sun and the air and it's gonna be it's gonna be spot on. Uh, kudos to the parts guys that let's see this was Arnold's parts in uh, Grand Island, Nebraska. Kudos to him for mixing me up an aerosol can that matches about as good as you're ever gonna get for 44 year old paint. We're gonna pop this back down, throw a coat of uh, paste wax on it, and then we'll do a final assembly. And we're gonna reassemble the bottom of this car finally. This thing's been sitting in the air for way too long you guys waiting for the right timing and weather to paint this sucker has just been you know painful
Here is the final product. Back on the ground. Center section all tidied up. Waxed, painted. We actually put a few miles on the car. And it's already got a couple bugs and other things on the splitter part of the spoiler. But yeah, looks great. I'll apologize to you now. We did not take footage of painting the bumperettes. Um, we just masked them off and painted them uh, with uh, a special paint and I'll go get that right now. Um, Here are the products we used uh, from SEM or SEM. I don't know which one that is to be honest with you. Uh, aerosol primer, flexible surface primer because these bumpers are plastic. Uh, this worked really well. Got a couple drips coming out of this. I don't know if my finger, you know, my ET finger was in the way or or, or what but uh, overall went on uh, well sanded well and took paint well uh, again here's our Corvette silver Indy silver poly um, the OEM code is 47 and then there's a newer code WA7134 that we're not too worried about uh, the can holds eight ounces and you can tell in the video I don't know what kind of nozzle or pressure or mix or paint or whatever. I don't know which aspect or maybe it's a combination of things, but this sprayed really well for aerosol. And then on the bumperettes, again from SEM or SEM, uh, bumper coater. This was at the same you know, Arnold Group parts store and I figured, you know what, what the heck, let's, let's use that and they turned out really nice we got rid of that yellow scarring on the front and then in the back and this is just from age there wasn't any damage to the car but these back ones were wore through to the yellow on the on the the entire top side so you just saw this yellow stripe right here and it was kind of a pain in the rear end so uh, but we masked these off painted them uh, you know, this car isn't perfect and we don't want it to look perfect, but we want it to look, you know, better than it was. So that's it for the splitter. Appreciate you hanging in there for this one. It, uh, it took us, gosh, I don't know, we were several weeks, uh, to, to finally go from pulling the thing off, getting it ready for paint. And then the weather just was not conducive to painting. I didn't think so. We didn't paint. Finally got it back together in time for our first car show. So it's been to there. Got another car show coming next weekend, uh, July 9th, I think it is, at uh, St. John's Church, Kronberg Corner, Marquette, Nebraska. Uh, we're going to have uh, the Corvette will be there, the Jeep will be there, and the Jeep trailer. Uh, we're going to take the TO20 tractor. We'll take the shop truck. Yeah, we'll have all kinds of stuff. There'll be a lot of tractors there, a lot of cool cars there. Um, hey, concessions and stuff. So coming out to Marquette and uh, relax and check out some cool rides. So hey, if you, if you want to keep up on this stuff, like the Corvette and our other projects, consider subscribing. That would help us out. And uh, clicking and liking and doing the bell thing for notifications. That's all good. Uh, otherwise, we appreciate you watching our stuff. And we'll catch you on the next one.